So hi guys and welcome to the installation process of the Aspire ROM on the Galaxy S Duos. So a good rule is first create an Android backup by going into the recovery and select backup and restore and then select backup and wait till it backs up it takes some time depending on the amount of consumed storage in your internal SD card. So meet you after the backup completes. So hey guys, the backup is complete. As you can read the pop-up message here, backup complete. So now moving forward with the ROM installation steps. Uh, download the ROM from the link in the description and place it on your external SD card. Now in your CWM recovery, the basic instructions. Navigate using the volume buttons, go back using the power button and select using the home button. So first thing you need to do is click on install zip from SD card probably the second option then select the first option which is choose zip from SD card then navigate to the folder where you place the ROM mine is in SFI ROM and just apply the ROM file and select yes So now installing the ROM might take 7 to 10 minutes according to the developer Abhi as it is stated in the XDA developer's site. I would also link the site in the description and do check the article on XDA developers before flashing this ROM taking into consideration every aspect what Abhi has stated in his article. So wait till the installation completes, sit back and relax. Hey guys, so installation is complete and to be frank, it took about only 2 minutes 5 seconds as recorded in my timer. So now moving forward with the process, just go back with the power button and first thing you have to select is wipe cache partition which is probably the fourth option in your recovery on SDOS. Then select wipe cache. Then as you see, the, as soon as you see the message cache wipe complete, go into advanced and then select wipe Dalvik cache. Then select yes wipe Dalvik cache. After Dalvik cache wipe complete, go back. Then select wipe data factory reset and select yes. So be sure to back up all your data like music and every other thing which you have downloaded on your internal storage on your computer or on cloud because you would format all those stuff when you install this ROM because it's a clean installation which is recommended by the developer then moving forward after the wipe is complete go into advanced then select fix permissions and after you see the message fixing permissions done go back using the power button and select reboot system now so the installation ROM process is complete and now you are good to go And if you face any boot loop then again go into recovery mode and select wipe, fac wipe data factory reset, wipe Dalvik cache, wipe cache partition and try, try to reboot your phone again. And if it doesn't help too then the probably options remaining is the best one is to flash your Android backup which you made previously as I told you if you had made because that's what strictly recommended and if not then you have only one option to flash the stock ROM using Auden from a Windows machine 
so please make sure you complete the process properly and comment below about what do you think about what the experience of the ROM is let it boot up meet you after the boot completes so hey guys installation complete and according to the timer it took about 27 seconds for the boot up now we are on the welcome screen as you can see as G that is Samsung Galaxy S5 experience ROM choosing to the language United States start and this is a pretty quick setup which you face after every installation of ROM or buying a new phone so then head next automatic date and time then hit next not now next so yes my name is Durvesh Horvakar mm. hit next so this is the guy I was talking about Abhi922 from XDA all credit goes to him for developing such a nice ROM so that the SGO's user could experience the S5 like touch -wiz and features let me reduce the brightness so this is the experience ROM it's pretty much like Samsung's own TouchWiz but still the newest version settings are also modified more about device I know what you were waiting for so Samsung Galaxy S5 from version developer but sadly the Android version is still ice cream sandwich but the Easter egg is pocket cat <laughs> Yep, so that's it. Ending my this video here. And thumbs up if you want to see this ROM review. Just wreck the like button, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any doubts, video ideas, or uh, just comments, so comment it down below. You can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash dkdkorgakor. Ending this video, this is Durvesh Kurgakar signing out.